Hey everyone, it's Brandon with another Daily Devo coming at you from our Calvary Reading Plan, which you can download and follow along with us by going to calvary.ch slash read. We'd love to have you join us as we get into God's Word every day. So, uh, a few days ago we finished up the book of Romans, which was written by the Apostle Paul to the Roman Church. And now we've moved into the book of 1 Corinthians, which is another one of Paul's letters, and this is to the church at Corinth. And what was going on in Corinth, we see uh, some issues arise, there's some conflict between some of the Jewish members of the Christian faith and some of the Gentile members of the Christian faith, and Paul writes this letter to try to get uh, everyone back on the same page, to try to restore some unity to this church so that they can uh, continue Continue to spread the gospel of Jesus, which is what we're all called to do. Uh, today we're looking at chapter 2, and uh, in verse, starting in verse 1 in the next few, Paul says this, he says, When I came to you, I did not come with eloquence or human wisdom, as I proclaimed to you the testimony about God. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you, except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. I came to you in weakness with great fear and trembling. My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with a demonstration of the Spirit's power. Man, Paul here is just saying like, hey guys, I'm, I'm an educated dude. I, I know what I'm talking about. Paul was a, a Pharisee before he was a Christ follower. He was well educated in the Jewish faith. He knew the scriptures backwards and forwards. But what Paul is saying here is, I didn't come to you with this deep theology, with these confusing words to try to to, to try to argue you into a faith with Jesus. What I came to you with was the true gospel. What matters? What matters most? That Christ was crucified and raised from the dead to pay the penalty for your sin. So guys, I don't know where you are with Jesus today, but I hope that we can all agree on this fact, that Jesus Christ was crucified and raised from the dead to pay the penalty of our sin. You see, if we start there, if we, if we lead from that place, if we lead from a, a deep honor and respect for what Jesus did, then people can come to know him. You see, it, it's easy sometimes for us to start with arguments. I don't know, if you look at social media today, that's pretty much 95% of what we see on Facebook. And I love, uh, I, I love what one of our, our staff posted on Facebook the other day. He said, this is your monthly reminder that uh, no, no one has ever won an argument on social media, basically, is what he said. And I think Paul had this opportunity to go into this church and present all these arguments for why the things that they thought were wrong and why the things they were saying were ridiculous. But instead, he goes to this church and says, hey guys, can we just stop for a second and focus on Jesus and the truth of what that means for our life? And then can we love each other like he did? And I think if we would do that in our own life, if we would just, if we would just come to the cross humbly and appreciate what Jesus did for us and, and allow that to impact our life in the way that it should, we would see things change. We would see issues disappear. We would see things like racism not existent. If we could just come to a place where each of us truly seek to live and love like Jesus in the way that we're called to, and we could be unified as the church and unified as the body of Christ, then, then we could see the world change for the better. And so I don't know about you, Collective, but for me, that's my commitment today, to live and love like Jesus, to, to come back to the cross of Christ and appreciate what he did for me and allow that to be the driving force in my life. And I hope you'll do the same. We'll see you soon.